what we do a lot of times, we bring the kids down here for oh, like a school tour, and we'll give them each a length of a candle wick like that. And you tend to get about eight or ten kids, and the way the procedure goes is you dip it, and then you walk around and get back in line. Well, by the time you get back up into the time to dip again, it's all solidified, and this is how you build it up and actually make your own candle like that. Now, a lot of people think that in the old days, people used candles for their main source of lighting inside the house. It didn't, no way. What you had to do is make them out of candle uh, beeswax, and beeswax is kind of hard to come by. Now, you ever heard of a bee gum? No. Bee gum is what they used to make beehives out of. They took a black gum tree, and because it's soft in the middle, you hollow them all out. Then you put it on end, so it's nice and hollow, and you put a little shingle on top, and then you poke two holes and put two branches in like that, and the bees build their nest in there. So you had to build some bee gums, and then you got the bees in there, and then went out two or three times a year and raided them and got beeswax out of it. Now, that's easier said than done. And essentially, it's a crop that had to be harvested, so beeswax was hard to come by. What people used for inside light most of the time was grease, grease lamps. And you'd slaughter a bear or you'd slaughter a cow, and every time you, you cook fat, it renders, and then you'd fill it up like that. So these were a treat, and you generally saved these most of the time for whenever you had company or for Christmas time. Christmas time, you always had the candle lantern inside with a glass shell box and all like that. And that was really interesting to see. The fact is, you ought to come up here sometime during the Christmas, right about a week or two before Christmas, we have something called the candlelight services in here. And what we do is we uh, shut up the house at about 4 o'clock, and from 4 to 6, we have the candlelight tours. We have a storyteller who comes in and tells you all the significance about the different flowers and the boughs and the different pieces of holly and things like that, what they meant, why they used them. For instance, there was no Christmas trees. So they used rhododendron boughs, they used uh, holly, they used uh, anything they could that was a local or a native thing and decorated the house like that. And then they built their own uh, candle lanterns and we have that out there inside the kitchen. I don't know if you've been in the house yet, mm -hmm. but there's an old candelabra sitting up topside in which you'd fill that up with candles and when company came, you'd have that out there. Mm -hmm. That was really something interesting.